So something a little bit different today. We've got 30 minutes to make a Charizard. This is the end result. And this is how we did it with these hands here and the controllers from Oculus. So let's have a look at Adobe Medium and how quick can we make a Charizard. So start the clock and here we go. So we want to put mirror on and we need to do a block out. So to do a block out, I go as low as I dare go. So really super low. And I just start thinking about, I need a head, a neck. It's Charizard, isn't it? So it's a dragon, but sitting upright. So a chest, a belly. It's gonna need two legs. They're gonna be what we call, here we go, coming around here. So what we would call plant uh, the chidi grade, if that means anything to anyone. So that means that uh, up off the digits, we're planted grade. We plant our heel on the ground, whereas this foot here is raised up. So this is what you see on a dog, to some degree. Extremely, uh, an extreme version of it on a horse. So there you go. We've blocked out blocked out the body already so I'm feeling quite good about that so he has arms here so we'll put some detail in them and then he has wings but we're not going to do it on this layer what I want is I just want to block out the, the head the neck the chest and the big belly which is going to be bigger than I've done there like that and then smooth that down maybe not sweat so much and then if that's good if that block out is good enough which it probably is it's not too far off, maybe a bit too much on the on the facial area. I have to do some work on that one, but with, with the time that we've got, yeah, that's a bit better. Maybe even a bit smaller than that. And now we'll block out the wings, so we just go new layer. And we need the wings to come out. It's definitely a new layer, isn't it? Yeah. So the wings need to come out like this. So this bit here to this bit here. So if you think about it from bat anatomy what have we got here so this is where the shoulder the deltoids come from straight down to the humerus where our bicep is straight up here which is the forearm and then our fingers start here so even though it's a wing we're just applying it to um, the, the mammalian bone structure that goes on underneath so always be always 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 be referring to real world when you're referencing um, now, I'm just laying down a, this is the skin, isn't it, of the of the, the wing. And if I remember rightly on Charizard, that's like an aqua colour. So, we'll do that last, or not last, but we'll do it later on. Just want to get it all blocked out, and then upper resin smoothed. So you'll see what I mean by that. So that's the wing blocked, and then crease the res once, and just see what it looks like. Smooth. Yeah, that's fine. It's destroyed it a little bit, but we're just going to put that back in. At least we've got the volume. And I can afford to go up another level as soon as I've done this. So that's one of the fingers. Two. We've lost it here. Look, it lost it quite a lot with the, with the level of detail there. Three. We will do four. Four. There we go. Sometimes I like doing this just from memory, just to see. It's quite interesting to see what you get. Obviously, I've had a quick look before I started this of what Charizard looked like, um, but I'm doing a realistic one, so uh, it's not going to look exactly like the, the, the reference that I was thinking of anyway. So there we go. We've got a nice wing going. Probably a bit too big actually, so um, shrink it down a little bit, and we'll use the move tool on it because what we wanted to, to do is now just shape it a little bit so we'll bring it around like this like that yeah that worked really really well um, while I'm on this, I'll go on this layer now, I've got increase on this layer a couple of times now because we've got the block out done and I've got to think about this head because it, it looked more serpent like than I wanted it to there we go straight away we've got the, we've got the kind of look that I was after so that's good um, what you'll notice there is it's using both layers, so we just go to settings and we'll just, so on my dominant hand, active layer only, switch that off and now it'll just do 
just the layer that you're on, which is cool. So if you get a problem with this now, and you can see I, I might have done it a little bit too close here. So what you can do is you can turn the mirror off. You can delete one side. So clay, double click for red, bring it right down and just delete one side and then just work on one. So there's no mirror now, so I can do this however I want and get it you know, much more how I'd like it, which is what, like that, something like that. Then just duplicate that and then just flip it. And there you go, you're back with two wings. So that's a quick way of solving that one. Um, and you can actually merge them back together now. So you want that one and that one. So it's that one and that one, layer two and two copy, and then just merge and then they're back together. Now if you switch mirror back on, you're back in the game. So bring that down, tighten, and we can even go higher on that now. So again, I'm always careful about going higher because um, it's slow, it can really slow the system down. Um, so just do it only when you're ready for it. Don't don't be don't be going high until you're really sure that you've got all your block out done. That's looking good. Um, we just need a little bit more there. So we're about five minutes in, I think, now. So I'm going to keep checking the time because obviously I want to. However, we get wherever we get to at 30 minutes is what we're going to call time. Um, don't care where we're at. Um, so hopefully I'll have a full Charizard at least done. Uh, he's very blobby on the back, which I didn't really think about. So we'll just smooth him down a little bit there without damaging anything else. So that's fine. So let's back to this body now. So let's maybe do this head. So I'm going to need a jaw. So I'll do another layer. And I definitely want a jaw coming down here so I can angle this jaw. So because I want the jaw to be like this, I want to be able to to manipulate the jaw as I as I need to. So um, for the posing and one thing and another. So it's better to have the jaw as a separate. And then back to the head. We'll take away something inside like that. Now we do need to go up a couple of res now because we're going to start laying out some of the main components. It's not the detail layer yet. We're still doing primary forms, but we're going to do it at a much higher level now. So let's bring these out. I'm using negative as much as I'm using positive. So taking the stuff away, adding it back in. I'm starting to think about the dragon shape now. It's obviously a great big... Um, arch here over his, his jaw this is over his, his mandible here uh, over his this is what on, on us this is the zygomatic arch this is that arch that you get on, on any mammal actually um, that comes out um, and supports all of these big muscles to pull this jaw up so even though it's cartoony even though it's a made up character I'm always referring back to the 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 correct anatomy so that we you know you know the things that I say this a thousand times a week the things that look good are the things that link back to real creatures you know if you can get it right and you can get it focused on looking like a real creature then you've you've won the battle straight away so so there's a dragon's head looking way way too big so I wasn't focusing too much on the scale which is silly of me so we'll bring that back down doesn't take much with the move tool. And you could actually, or I could, cut this head off, but I don't want to at the moment. We can probably get away with it for a while yet without doing any major surgery. Um, I'm sure he had horns but no ears, but again, not 100% sure of this. It's, it's, it's a real test. To remember Charizard without actually having a Charizard around. Um, I'll do a separate eye at the end. That's fine. Now I've got a, I've got a bit of a, an affinity with Charizard because um, I'll tell you a little story while I'm sculpting. Um, so I've one of my kids is 20, 27. When he was younger, um, like. I'm going to guess at around seven or eight. I could be completely wrong there, but anyway, he was young. Um, he was he was with me one day and he wasn't very well and he was complaining about stomach ache. Um, and as the day went on, it got worse. So I, I I'm a really supportive parent, as as you can imagine. Um, those of you that know me 
will, will know what a, a wonderfully supportive person I am. So I made him go for a walk. Uh, I wouldn't stop picking on him because he was whinging about um, his tummy. I was like, right, man up, come on, typical uh, typical supportive parent. Uh, get out, let's go for a walk. If you've got a tummy ache, well, the last thing you want is to be sitting around. So anyway, so I made him go for this walk. Um, and it went. It was, you know, he was he was whinging like crazy as the as the walk went on. So um, and I was still going. Come on, get moving. So as we were as we were getting to the point where I'm thinking, hang on, this is more than just whinging. Something's wrong. He ended up uh, he ended up getting really um, uh, out of himself. So as if something was seriously wrong. So we, it, the long story being short, we whipped him to hospital, and he had gangrene of his appendix. So uh, that supportive father um, nearly caused a major problem there so that's why I remember this r rubbish little story so well so anyway uh, <coughs> he's in hospital and it's at the time where he was massively into Pokemon and he had believe it or not a shiny Charizard so and me being the mature adult that I was I uh, you know the thing I remember most about my son's time in hospital was that he had that shiny Charizard. What an amazing thing to have. So um, I came in one day, I'd had the operation, everything was safe, we knew he was all fine. Um, and I went in one day and I said, uh, what have you been up to? I sold my Charizard. What? What he'd done is, he hadn't sold it. Um, he had swapped it for something completely rubbish. Um, and ever since then, I've always thought about Charizard for some reason. I've always thought about having my own shiny Charizard. Um, I've not played Pokemon in quite a while, if I'm honest. But I do always remember that, and I do always think about that being my favourite Pokemon because of because of that for some reason. So, so yeah, there's a there's a a long-winded story, isn't it? For while I'm sculpting in medium, so. Um, but anyway, shouldn't be some shouldn't be getting rid of shiny Charizard. Could have still had that now, really. So I'm not better. Uh, anyway, so I'm looking at the arms now. So I'm uh, I'm going with human-ish anatomy. So you've got those muscles that we would have on our arms. Um, again, I can't remember too well. Uh, so just make hands, which will then I'll make one finger in a minute. Um, in fact, no, I'll do it now. So turn the mirror off and we need a new layer and we just need to make a finger with a knuckle with another one with another one which goes into a claw like so smooth that down put a bit more detail in it a bit more volume at the back maybe And there's the finger so why have we done that so what you do here is you just do stamp we can delete that one we can use the stamp itself to, de to delete it but on here now we need one finger no we don't we need mirror then we need one finger bear in mind your thumb is obviously here it's as you can see with my uh, CG hands um, your thumb will be like this There we go. So it's giving him kind of dragon hands very quickly. And I think, to be fair, I think we've got that on a separate layer, haven't we? Um, so let me just undo that. I want that on that layer. I want it welded into that layer. So I'm going to go back. Could have, I could have merged it, but it's easy just to do that. There we go. That looks fine. And then it means on the same layer. That gives me a start there. So, okay, onto some muscles now. So uh, let's go back to our sphere. Give him a kneecap. Maybe we should uh, keep the same colour. Um, give him a kneecap and then build up some of these muscles a little bit here. So this one coming around here. And smooth that down. Give him some muscles coming out of here. Can change these a bit later on, but as long as we we get down the main ones, um, we'll need a bulge in here. 
and then the muscles that go under here this here would be his calf or gastrocnemux come along here I love that I'm doing a Pokemon and thinking about it in real and anatomical terms it's just really cool um, to try and do a fantasy creature but try and apply it with try and get it with real world anatomy to some degree and obviously I am rushing because I want to hit that deadline we'll check the time in a moment get that big belly going that looks good and the ribs will come back and define those ribs a bit more like that last one because I destroyed that tr bicep uh, sorry that uh, deltoid that he had there there we go that'll do so we've got a bit of muscle in there knock it back a bit now we've built it so I find myself doing that a lot so I build up that muscle and then I knock it back and just the hint of what was left there is enough so let's give him some tail muscles now so we'll be a bit careful here I don't want to go too crazy with him oh, that's good and because we've gone up a res now you can see it's it's not when you smooth now it's not doing that damage that it was when we started out so when we first started and we smoothed it would destroy some of your work as you were as you were going along but now because we're we're a higher res it, it, it's harder for it to smooth it. you'll see what I mean now there we go we've got a lovely tail on him there now what I would think is he looks like his center of balance is off I've been modeling him like this but we can't do that so we've got to nail that before we go any f further so shrink him right down um, and we've got that jaw to think of so should we pull the body back instead yeah that's probably better so do that now we're going to destroy the feet by doing that so down with the feet out with the kneecap a little bit and then this tail needs to come down quite a lot yeah that's the best way of doing it. and that means we don't have to destroy too much of the work that we've already done and I think he's bigger across the chest isn't he than that or he was this has all gone wrong underneath here so we're going to have to redo this inner thigh quite a lot and those wings now need to roll down a bit I think yeah that's better so let's get his back sorted out So we'll keep him quite, quite basic up there through his, through his back and where the where the the muscles of the attachments for the wings are. Um, I'm just going to increase those wings a little bit. I just increase the rest so that they're matching the body because I want to do this. I want to pull them wings down a little bit like that. And again, I don't know if that's how it is on the Charizard but that's what we're getting on my Charizard um, let's bring this in <coughs> excuse me and then down up onto his rib cage and then let's fix that leg that I pulled so I made a real mess here didn't I that looks better bulk up those muscles there that definitely looks better and then come out from the lower end of where he's technically where his uh, chari genitals would be we don't want to be putting any of them on let's sort this ankle out a little bit that looks cool pleased with that and then big muscle over the top here let's go cool. happy with that and then I want to get rid of some of this and now 
fix all of this because this just looks rubbish. So bring the toes and then the tendons that kind of link to the toes in. We'll, we'll get them coming. Maybe destroy a bit of this because it looked didn't look right, and then put it back. That looks better. And then a bit more on the the back here. Tighten that down a bit, and then build those toes up a little bit. Maybe we should use the move tool here a little bit. Still feels like low res, so I'm going to go increase it one more time. I don't want to go too much higher because we've got to go back and do the top. So I'm being a little bit careful there. Improve that calf muscle from the inside. Got it looking good from the outside. There we go, we've got some nice muscles going on there. So now we can start thinking about some nice uh, detailing. So we're, we're not bad, we're, you know, for the time we've done, we're not too bad. Took a quick check of the time. 22 minutes in, so we've got 10 minutes to start detailing. So let's get this jaw sorted out because this looks rubbish. Um, so we'll take this away and have, a, have another look at that. And we'll do bring this around a little bit, a bit more dragony. Bring this down a bit. And I want more power in this bottom jaw. That's what I wasn't happy with. Uh, we had all of the we had all of the, the 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 muscles looking like they were in the the upper part, and I think this is what was missing. So that's better. Um, I need an eye in there as well because I'm losing my reference a little bit. So let's add an eye. So we need a new layer. We need a sphere, which we've already got. We're already on it, aren't we? So we'll just add an eyeball in there. And we won't. Let's change the colour. So I'll make it white for now. So if you've got an eyeball in, now you can make sure you're back on the right colour. Now we can detail because we've got an eye to work around now. You can see straight away that looks different because we've got the eye um, there to work around. I've just gone up another layer, another res. And now we can really start making that look cool. And we'll bring this, the eyebrow above it down as well. And that would mean I can sort this out. And then inside here. So we're now, I suppose we're off primary forms now because we're actually, we're kind of thinking about what's going on inside. Um, and any second now, I'm going to have to start thinking about, if I've only got about eight minutes left, I'm going to have to think about tongue, etc. So uh, that's enough. Yeah, that's almost there. That's, that's enough for the time that we've spent on it. Maybe a bit more bulk around here. Yeah, please with that. I do like having that separate jaw, it does make a lot of difference. So if you are going to do something like this, make sure you think about that. Let's get some of these neck muscles going. There's definitely not enough going on under that chin for my liking. And now, see how it's looking a little bit like there's lines in it? That's because I upped the res now, we're, we're, on a, we're probably on the final sort of res. I won't be going much higher than this if I'm going higher at all. Um, that chin needs support, so the skin would be underneath here like this, going out a bit further. And then, so so here you're in a combination of fat and muscle. So you have to learn a lot of things other than just the muscles and the bones. Um, you know the the how the fat reacts underneath and hangs gives you some of the reality of the creature. So you know knowing knowing those fatty pads and 
how they work on a creature is is, is definitely something that you need to have a, a look at so I honestly can't remember if he has an ear or not so I'm going to compromise and I'm just going to bang a little triangle there just in case he does because I've covered both angles then um, if he doesn't then I'll just pretend that that was a mistake and if he does um, then I'll say that was the beginning of it so uh, who am I going to say all that to? No one so it doesn't really matter does it so uh, a bit of a chest cavity there and that's about all I'm going to get to with the with the, the body so let's get some quickly get some colour going um, paint get that aqua yep perfect so I, th I don't know for sure but I'm gonna say that that makes me feel like we've got the right colour because that suddenly felt like Charizard to me so um, can you uh, please let me know because uh, I really don't want to look at reference because that kind of spoiled the feeling that I'm going for but that suddenly felt a bit charizard to me I'm going to colour, what am I going to do now um, I'm going to quickly look at the time yeah we're okay so let's make a tooth, in fact let's just see if we've got a tooth clay uh, have I made a tooth this week? yeah I probably have uh, yeah there's one so we need a new layer but no, forget the new layer. We'll do it on each layer. So we'll do it here. Yeah, that's fine. It means the jaw needs to go upper level. Um, I've got white. No, we'll go dark teeth. Um, in fact, I need a, do need a new tooth because this is already perfect. In fact, if I change the colour to anything other than white, no, still I've forgotten how to do that bit. But anyway. I was hoping to see if I can send it back to a normal colour, which would save me having to paint this thing in a minute, but it doesn't matter. I feel like I'm rushing like crazy now. Um, single. This sort of stuff is quite good for pushing you um, to try stuff at speed, so have a go at this yourself. Pick a character uh, and just go for it. Just literally go for it. Um, paint. Uh, let's get some deep red. And then let's have some white. It's funny. There's no one other than myself that picked this time scale. Um, but I'm actually sat here feel like my, my blood pressure has gone up because I've put this time scale on myself so it's quite funny let's throw these on there you go at least we've got something there and then I want on his body here I want um, let's have a look creamy colour yep that's cool again I can't quite remember if he has that or not I'm pretty sure looking at it that he did um, Let's go bring that opacity up a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. I think we'll have this lower jaw painted. Oh, no, that's not Charizard. Isn't it funny how some things just scream out that that isn't your character or the character that you're working on? That was crazy. Instantly then it didn't look like what I was aiming for, which, I th you know, it's crazy how, how a little change can just throw your character off. Get it all the way down, and what we will do is we'll take this now all the way down and through here, um, and we'll bring it up to the tail as well. Again, I don't actually know, but that doesn't make me feel like it's wrong, so. Beginning to wish I had luck now. because I'm quite enjoying the, the act of creating this guy. Um, 
My intention was not to have fun. I didn't come here to have fun. I came here to put myself under pressure. There we go. So maybe we can say with one quick check, I think that is cruising down to our 30 minute time. So let's enable this, this and there we go. So that's my 30 minute Oh, look at the wings, totally messed them up. Never mind, I can sort them out in a second. So that's my 30 minute realistic Charizard. Um, I'll get that out of the way. And I could now spend, uh, I mean, I could take that out and push that over to um, wherever I want, be it, whether it be uh, retopologizing it in. Um, in ZBrush or Blender or something like that, or just literally just having a play with it in Blender. Um, but it, that's how fast you can make these shapes. Uh, when you know when you're using something like Adobe Medium, um, and uh, you know the more you do this, the quicker this gets. Um, so I now I'm going to cry when I have a look at what the 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 actual Charizard looks like. But for now, I feel good for a 30 minute session. I hope you're enjoying these videos. We're making lots of them at the minute and we're really enjoying them. Um, one thing I'd like you to do, if possible, is subscribe to the channel down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we drop new stuff. I'm going to take this Charizard over to ZBrush now and do some retopology and make him fit for purpose for, for going into Substance Painter. Um, but Adobe Medium, one of my favourite programmes, as you probably know by now, and this is the kind of thing you can do in 30 minutes.